Good morning, John. Today we're gonna be making cinnamon toast two different ways. First way. The butter and the cinnamon and sugar creates this like frost on the top that's hard and the bread is soggy underneath. That's good stuff. This is, this one's good. This is what we call the soggy technique. Butter first, then toaster. Now we're gonna try the crunchy technique. this in my mouth. Team Soggy for life! If you're confused right now, that's kind of the point. I just posted something on Tumblr about the way that I make cinnamon toast, and people criticized me for it, saying that you should toast before you butter, which is ludicrous! There was something of a debate. People died. I mean, people did die in the world while we were having the debate, but not actually because of the debate. Though I don't know, Team Soggy, Team Crunchy, there's a, there's a lot of animosity there. I know I harbor some for those Team Crunchies out there. I don't know what they're thinking. It may be that I'm projecting other stress onto this situation, though. I mean, I don't know what could possibly be- It's a metaphor. You hit a killing thing between your teeth, but you don't let it kill you. Do you think that poster is worth more or less now that I've chewed on it? We just released the agenda. Like, what's happening at what times during VidCon 2000, what is it, 2014 right now? I don't know. I also discovered during this process that there are places where toaster ovens don't exist. It's like a tiny oven where you just toast. For people who only have toasters, I understand why you do Team Crunchy. It's a limitation of your situation, that's fine. You can, however, broil in the actual oven if you have one of those. It's just so much better. It's so... It's so much better. We do a charity auction at VidCon and I actually need to go paint uh, some anglerfish art for that auction, so... The painting art for the VidCon auction. Problem is, I don't know how to do that. <laughs> Turned out okay. I only said that I'd do two, I did four. Housekeeping! Tank tops will be on sale until Monday. So if you want to get a tank top, the pre-order only lasts till Monday, uh, then we may bring them back, we may not, depending on how they sell. If you haven't heard about this, or have been postponing your ticket purchasing tour because awesome with Hank Green and the Perfect Strangers, and Harry and the Potters, and Driffles Pony Club, and Andrew Huang, and Rob Scow, and all amazing musicians, we are going to have a blast. And I hope that you're going to be there to have a blast with us. Uh, there's a link in the description if you want to get tickets. They're like 15 to 20 dollars. You want to know something funny? When I get really stressed out, my, like, my defense mechanism is to get really sleepy. How to avoid stress? I know! Unconsciousness! It's great. I would totally rather that than just laying there in bed thinking about stuff. I just, when I get stressed out, like a light bulb I go out. Like a light bulb with a hole drilled in the side of it. They go out extra fast because there's oxygen in the chamber needs to be a vacuum so that the filament doesn't burn. Yeah, sometimes it's just better to not... better to not. Comments. Team Soggy or Team Crunchy? Is that poster worth more now or less now? Thanks to Michael Ronda for help with this video. Thanks to everybody for their help with VidCon. And John, I'll see you on Tuesday.